The devastating Soweto riots and their aftermath have shocked South Africans, black and white, into hard recognition of their country's complex race relations. In and around the townships and shanty towns, pupil power, black power and rampant hooliganism have exploded into a bloody conflagration which has so far left over a hundred dead and which will cost the country an estimated 50 million rand. Drank het verwoesting aangevuur. En in die feest van geweld het zwart ook ten zwart gedraai. While some were burning shops, others sought the safety of the cinema. A looted shop and a looter's victim with seven children. A rit dear Alexandra in Johannesburg. Huis toe, na werk, voor nog een vreesvolle nacht. The shanty town is in Santon, and the town's mayor, Mr. N.D. Panton Jones, looks around after the riots. By then, the minister of Bantu administration, Mr. M.C. Buta, had met with civic leaders from Soweto, the flashpoint of the first riot sparked by the Afrikaans in black schools issue. The two delegations' joint statement said that the tragedy was the result of misunderstanding and confusion. Alexandra's race stellen het vernietiging vrijgesprong. En voor die blankes van Lombardy Oos en Q dichtbij was het een tijd van spanning. The fight for order needed all hands. Liquor was moved out, it was as dangerous as petrol. And life goes on. Meanwhile, at Soweto, traffic police man roadblocks. And on top of Baragwanath Hospital's pedestrian bridge, riot police keep watch. In crammed wards, the staff has worked round the clock, even in the face of mobs clamouring for the hospital's destruction. Policemen relax after tempers had subsided. Justice Minister Mr. Jimmy Kruger has appealed to blacks to accept the whites' good faith and told whites that the responsibility for good race relations rests with everyone. Soweto will take long to recover.